Hello and welcome to Over the Wire Natas. In this video, we will take on level 8 to 10 challenges. This How to Capture the Flag series is completely based on war games that involves in pen testing, knowledge based authentication, reverse engineering, and capture the flag logic. Let's get started. We have two hyperlinks out here, home and about. After clicking on one, the web page changes slightly and tells us we are either at home or at about page. I checked the source code and found that the web link reference a page file which is passed directly into index.php. Let's add index to the URL and it says warning failed to open stream. Time to try something else. Let's add etc slash password in the URL and see what it stores for us not so interesting stuff out here add slash we are in address bar and view page source now here is the hint and it says password for web user natas8 is in etc natas underscore web pass slash natas8 let's copy this and add it to the url And here you go, time to copy the password. Time to get back to our home page, click on level 8. Open the given URL in a new tab. Username is Natas8, paste the copied password and click on sign in. And that's it, you successfully solved a challenge. If you missed the previous challenges, do visit our playlist How to Capture the Flag series for more solutions. Now here we have input secret challenge. First let's close the unrequired tabs and view the page source. Now here we have encoded secret and the variables of encoded secret is also here and we have a function called base4 encode secret the password for natas9 is censored 
This encoded secret says that it first converts binary to hexadecimal after which the string is need to be reversed. Time to copy this encoded secret. Open a new tab and go to Google and search for CyberChef. Now as per the page source, we need to convert the encoded secret. Paste the secret and this output need to be reversed. Search for reverse in a search bar and place it in the recipe section. Now as you can see the output is reversed, time to search for base64 and place it in a recipe section. Copy the output and get back to our challenge page. Paste the output in input secret and click on submit. And uh, here you go. Time to copy the password. Follow the same procedure, get back to our home page, click on level 9 and open the given link in a new tab. The task 9, paste the copied password and sign in. And that's it, you successfully solved the challenge. Now this challenge seems to be different from others. Find words containing. Let's view source code. Here you can see some variable key without any value now. If array key needle is request, let's get back to our challenge page. Type check and uh, click on search and here you can see needle and the request processed. But how this process is taking place? Time to get back to our source code. If key is equal to request and needle and if key is not equal to then then it has dictionary.txt. Time to add dictionary.txt to the URL and see what it stores for us. And here we have a big data dictionary. Let's try some other words in the search bar.
Type in computer and click on search. And here we have matching results that dictionary have. One common thing is there that is needle. Now we need to break the sequence. Open a new tab and search for command injection. And if you doesn't know about the command injection, here's the brief description. Let me go through it and here it is. If we add semicolon and add another command to the end of this line, the command is executed by cat wrapper with no complaint. Let's get back to our challenge page and play with address bar. Try semicolon id. No results. Let's try semicolon ls. Now this is interesting. The output is dictionary.txt. If you had gone through my previous videos, you must be aware of this cat slash etc slash notas webpass slash notas 10. And here you go. Copy the password and get back to our home page. Click on level 10. Open the given URL in a new tab. Username is Natas10. Paste the password and it's done. Now we are going to end this video here. Upcoming challenges seems to pop up with some sort of filtering or sanitization. We'll take up a couple of challenges in our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.